Yo, New York Yankees fans, yet again, it is Felix from N1News.com on this horrible day. But like always, all como estas? Yankees fans, keep your head up. What I saw, the engagement of the fans, the passion, the motivation to bring Manny Machado to the Bronx and even Bryce Harper to the Bronx. I salute you all. A great example for MLB fans. Now, I have seen Yankees fans put their attention towards the front office, Hal Steinberg in particular. In his defense, there was nothing the Yankees could do with these contracts the Padres and the White Sox offered Manny Machado. In my opinion, that attention should be shifted upon Tony Clark and the Players Union for many reasons. Tony Clark and the Players Union... They were making it seem that these guys were getting about $175 million offers and that free agency as we knew it was dead. Now we know this wasn't the case. The Chicago White Sox were willing to go as high as $350 million for eight years with incentives, etc. But he signed with the Padres because $300 million was guaranteed. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, there's no owner's collusion there. When a team like the Padres, who lost 96 games last season, gets one of the top free agents in baseball and pays him over $300 million, there's no collusion there. This is what the new CBA that's currently in action was designed to do. If you follow me on Twitter, I specifically stated numerous times that Manny Machado was going to sign with the Padres if their offer was over $250 million. But if you went with, let's say, what Tony Clark was putting out, that no team was offering more than $250 million. You would have believed that these players would settle for less playing for a contender. If that was the case, all of the negative attention should have been brought upon the Yankees and Hal Steinbrenner. But folks, realistically, there was nothing the Yankees could have done to sign Manny Machado when there were offers over and close to $300 million, period. Hey, if you want to make the argument that the Yankees preferred Stanton over Bryce Harper and Manny Machado, you can. not If you want to make the argument that the Yankees settled for a DH that is going to make $32 million per season, you can. And if you want to make the argument that the Yankees went over the luxury tax with the team they have now, and that's pretty stupid and pathetic, you can. They went over the tax by signing Gardner, Sabathia, Tulawiski, and LeMahieu. Obviously, they didn't pay Tulawiski $20 million. They're paying him five hundred k But if you want to make the argument that they went over the luxury tax to sign these guys, you can. And if you ask me, hmm, that's a pretty stupid business decision by the Yankees. But hmm, that's just my opinion. But LeMahieu was the best uh, signing out of those names I mentioned. So before you say you're not going to support the Yankees financially, there was nothing they could do when it came to Manny Machado or Bryce Harper because Harper is going to break Manny Machado's record. He's going to get more than Manny Machado. And then again, Tony Clark, if you ask me, who's looking pretty dumb right now, and Manfred is looking like the winner. He made Tony Clark and the Players Union look pretty stupid. So if they're talking about going on strikes, hmm, pretty difficult to say now when players are breaking records for contracts that they're signing. Your top free agents, by the way. So if fans want to say who gave them false hope, hmm, look at Tony Clark and the Players Union. They made it seem that these players were not getting the contracts they were looking for. They made it seem like these players were only getting contracts in the range of $175 million to $220. Put your attention upon Tony Clark and the Players Union. Tony Clark was a great Yankee, great clubhouse guy. But what he has done here doesn't help Major League Baseball. One bit. Because if they do decide to go on strike... They're not going to have the support of the fans. And again, Yankees fans, I think the Yankees have something up their sleeves. As I stated, why go over the luxury tax with the team you have now? Obviously, their bullpen is excellent. But in my gut, how the hell do you sell going over the luxury tax 
with the names I stated previously? How do you sell that to the fan base? So again, in my opinion, I think the Yankees are maybe going to sign a starting pitcher. But hey, that's just my opinion. Yankees fans, we're going to win number 28 regardless. Keep your heads up. It's Yankees all day. So, like always, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. This has been Felix from RoundWineNews.com. Show like and subscribe, and I will check you all next time. Before it hits the front page, NY1